Hi, I'm Brian McLaughlin and this is Deep Thought Balloon, little videos about comics, stories, pop culture, and other stuff. This is another drawing games video. My goal is to take that loose fun energy you get singing karaoke with your friends and translate it into drawing ridiculous pictures with your pals. Putting marks down on a piece of paper to draw can really make people nervous, but people usually don't feel that way about printing or writing, so a good way to get people to start drawing is to get them to draw with letters. They know how to make those, right? One game you can play is to take the letters from somebody's name and use those, and a period, to draw a picture of a face. Not that person's face, but any face. You do this in a group where you all use the name of the person to your left. You'll start to wonder what letters are kind of shaped like an eye or ear or hair. You should get some pretty fun drawings out of it, and you'll learn that drawings are things that you know how to do. Putting down straight lines, curved lines, squiggles, that's what drawing is. You may find it frustrating that you are limited by the letters, but that's kind of the point here. We want you to realize that you have a better solution by not using the letters. You're a better artist than you think. This game is often empowering. Want a fast-paced game full of laughs? Try Draw on Your Head. Everyone gets a small piece of paper. Cut up a typical piece of paper into six or eight or use post-it notes. Then one person picks something you all have to draw while holding the paper on top of your head. Like pizza, or Batman, or a pig. Every time I play this game someone picks pig in like the first three things, it's weird. You can't see what you're doing. Everyone's drawings will be terrible. Like with karaoke, you'll either laugh at the disaster or marvel at the excellence you didn't know your friends had in them. This is a crowd favorite. There's no points, just fun. And if those two games are good for beginners, a favorite among artists is draw a character from memory. Cartoon characters are meant to be memorable and different and easy to redraw, but what if you've never actually drawn that character before? It can be hard to recall all the little bits. I've played this a few times with my Magical Marker group and it's been a blast. Like, what makes Goofy a Goofy? And what makes She-Ra a She-Ra? And how huge are the eyes on the Powerpuff Girls? While you're drawing, you're usually also reminiscing about your favorite cartoons, which is also good fun. The main thing is it helps you re-examine famous styles of cartooning and how it connects with how you draw. Maybe when you check to see how accurate you were, you'll see an interesting approach to drawing eyes or hands, how to simplify or improve your work. Or at least you'll know yourself a little better, and what makes your style yours and not Disney's or Jack Kirby's. Plus, you get some hilarious off-model characters. Another great game for artists is Chimera. A Chimera, or Chimera, is an animal made up of other animals. You start by asking each member of the group to pick an animal, and then you draw a creature that is a combination of all the different animals. What part of the animal will you use? Like for a giraffe, do you use the long neck? The spots? The long tongue for pulling leaves off of trees? How does that combine with an alligator? A goldfish? A spider? To get a good list of animals to play with, I ask for different types of animals from each person. Like one person gives me a mammal, another an aquatic creature, a flying one, an insect, etc. That way it's just not a dog, cat, lion, horse where you're mixing and matching legs and heads and tails. You want to add some wings and fins and scales and other things to get a real variety of parts to pull from. What I like about this exercise, besides the hilarious and hideous creatures we will duck bill platypus together, is you also get to think about what's important about an animal which in turn helps you cartoon them later on. You'll know what to exaggerate or focus on. It's fun to compare what parts you each chose and what elements make a creature cuter, scarier, more noble, etc. Anyways, if you're a beginner or an old hand at drawing, there's a drawing game for you. Good luck and keep thinking deep thought balloons.